I can't believe I'm the oldest brother now. U.S. Army Sergeant First Class Ben Wise said in anguish on a sunny but sad 2010 spring day. Ben and I were sitting next to each other in a limousine bound for the funeral of our big brother, Navy SEAL turned CIA contractor Jeremy Wise. Ben is my older brother, but he didn't become the oldest until December 30th, 2009, when Jeremy was killed by an explosion in coast Afghanistan. The two surviving Wise brothers were on leave from our own Afghanistan deployments to attend Jeremy's funeral. Like Jeremy, Ben was an elite special operations warrior. On that day, however, he was just a grieving sibling. I was numb, not only from a 30-plus hour flight home from Afghanistan, but from the waves of emotion that accompanied trying to accept that my oldest brother was gone. When the limo pulled up into the cemetery, which was about an hour from where Jeremy was once stationed as a member of SEAL Team 4, I noticed some large words carved into a gray stone wall just outside the reception center. Honor to the soldier and sailor everywhere who bravely bears his country's cause. The message read, it was by President Abraham Lincoln during the height of the Civil War. Jeremy was a sailor, Ben was a soldier, I was a Marine. But even more importantly, I was their little brother. Less than two years later, I found myself riding inside another limousine which was driving down the exact same road. This time, Ben wasn't sitting next to me. He was resting inside an American flag-draped casket. As I buried my head in my hands, I prayed to be awoken from what seemed like a terrible dream. My blank eyes then moved back out the window and toward the place where my two brothers would soon rest side by side for all eternity. In that surreal moment, I came to the same somber realization that Ben had reached 22 months earlier. I was now the oldest living wise brother. <laughs>